Hey, what's going on, y'all? Got another video here. It's actually been a little bit since I've done a video, but I've been real busy uh, with work and uh, a lot of stuff going on. So, <clears throat> anyways, but um, uh, I got so I'm also been busy doing something else, which is what I'm going to be talking about right now. Uh, but anyways, I've been getting into uh, some gardening, gardening, and um, you know, getting some. Uh, seeds and stuff sprouting and get some crops growing and uh, it's actually something I've been wanting to do for years and just never had the time to do it and uh, now things are kind of changing as far as uh, you know work and business uh, I'm able to, I got some time that's open up on my schedule throughout the week and uh, that I can invest into uh, doing some gardening so um, and I got some a new book here as far as uh is a uh, florida gardening beginner's guide to florida gardening uh i actually found this lady on youtube she has a youtube channel and i've been following her uh for the last uh three weeks or so uh there it is right there jacqueline linton i i, I think i might be pronouncing her name wrong anyways that's her and she's got a YouTube channel, and uh, I can't remember the name of the YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, I forgot the name of the YouTube channel. Anyways, you'll see her on there when you go look up, you know, Florida Gardening, and she'll come up. She's one of the bigger channels on there. But anyways, I've been learning a lot from her and, and a lot of other channels uh, I've been following. And gardening is kind of my new hobby uh, that I'm getting into. And like I said, something I've always wanted to do just never really had the time to and um i got the seeds that i bought about a year ago uh which are these i bought this seed kit for my preps uh last year basic gardening uh storage seed kit anyways you can get this on amazon i think they go for like 70 bucks um uh, and it's uh put out by legacy which if i remember i think they make like freeze dry food too uh, and then these are all the seeds that comes in there and they are the good ones uh, non-gmo hair, uh, heirloom seeds so got the good seeds in there and I've actually planted uh, quite a few things out here uh, you know for the time of the year uh, right now it's May <clears throat> so um, I still got some more stuff I'm gonna be getting going here for the summer which I'm kind of getting behind on I need to hurry up and get it done um, but sweet potatoes is one thing that I'm actually gonna get going and I got a big black bucket out here and I'm gonna fill it with soil and then uh, go buy some organic sweet potatoes which we actually tried uh, different kinds of sweet potatoes you know we've always grew up eating the orange ones you know, you know the ones you have for Thanksgiving and, and uh, the holidays and stuff but I wanted to try some different ones, and I did find one that me and my oldest son like. So I'm probably, I might go ahead and grow some. Um, but it's a sweet Japanese uh, sweet potatoes. But I might just get the regular orange ones and then put those in the big bucket I got with the soil. And, you know, and then get some, um, you know, and grow it that way. And get some sweet potatoes, uh, get some stalks and stuff and some seed, seed and uh, I forget what they call it. I'm new to garden, so I don't know all the terms, and I'm kind of learning right now. This is why I bought this book for Florida Garden, but also watching YouTube and just learning a lot and, uh, you know, all that stuff. So, anyways, but uh, right now, I got, uh, I did plant, uh, I was looking at, like, doing, like, a raised, uh, a raised uh, bulk garden, a raised bulk garden type setup, and maybe doing several of them out here. But I ended up doing something else. I mean, I did use the border, uh, the wood box. Uh, but I did that to keep my dog out from uh, getting into the crops and, and you know, uh, going to the bathroom on him. And, he, you know, he pees on everything. He's a male. And uh, and he's not neutered. So he likes smart territory. And uh, so I did use the boxes to keep him out of the crops. But I have such good soil here. Uh, one of the problems with Florida is that we have a sandy soil but uh my yard and where i'm at i uh, have very good soil uh earthworms are all in it very dark 
uh, color uh, soil and it's actually been working great and uh, it's got a lot of nutrients and um, and it's doing well so and I've seen a, a huge um, growth so far in the seeds I've planted but anyway some of the ones I did was uh, and this comes out of the basic this is out of the basic gardening kit and uh, like they got them all I like how they got them all sealed up and they are ziplock you know I mean, you can seal them back up but they got them in these nice mylar uh, bags here uh, but I do have the sweet sweet peppers yeah, sweet peppers I planted some of those um, I did do some beets and I got some kale that I actually got in the ground over there now kale is good uh, to grow there in the spring and fall uh, you can grow it there in the summer but you gotta make sure you get plenty of shade uh, that way the heat don't burn it up so I kind of got in the area um, it's got a lot of shade I wish it kind of had some more sun over there but I might move it if I have to, to get a little bit more sun or take out some tree limbs uh, to open it up. I don't know. I'm gonna see what happens there. But it, they are sprouting, uh, the kale. So uh, the beets and the sweet peppers I just did. Tomatoes I just did. And these are the, uh, what are they called? Ponderosa, Ponderosa tomatoes. Got the kale, the beets. Anyways, and then uh, I got cucumber which the cucumber actually already, uh, you know, about two inches tall uh, or an inch, two inches tall, probably an inch. Uh, they're already sprouting up. So I got some cucumbers coming up. Uh, I did do some onions, but onions, these are the Utah yellow sweet Spanish ones. But it's kind of, you kind of want to get these started earlier in the spring, you know, and, and to get that full uh, growth uh, throughout the summer. But I did plant some, so we'll see how those go. And then I did do uh, some beans. Uh, these are the bush beans, and I did, uh, and those are actually sprouting up. Uh, they're, they're they actually are about two inches tall, uh, the beans. So those are sprouting up, and uh, that's the stuff I have in the ground now. Now I do have some pineapple uh, plants that my neighbor gave me that were ready to go in the ground, and then I got some in uh, pineapple uh, plants in buckets uh, that she also gave me. Uh, I got some herbs uh, or herbs, however you want to say it. Some people say herbs, some people say herbs. Uh, I got some onions, you know, um, uh, parsley, stuff like that, basil. And then uh, I got some fruit trees. I got some Japanese plum uh, trees here that, that the neighbor had. And I'm going to be, uh, they're in buckets now and about three foot tall, two, three foot tall. And I'm going to be planting those in the ground and I'm getting a mag uh, mango tree and an avocado tree that I'm actually gonna be transplanting from her house. Um, she's got some extras growing out of her compost uh, pile and uh, the seeds that she threw in there and the trees are actually growing out of there. So I'm gonna take those out and then plant them over here. Probably put them in buckets first and then uh, maybe put them in the ground later. Uh, but anyways, but mangoes take like 10 years to get fruit off of them. And then uh, avocados, seven years, I think is what she told me. So didn't know that about fruit uh, but anyways I got I got I got ginger the edible ginger uh, I got in pots there and it's already, I already got ginger in there um, what else is over? I got some aloe uh, plants I wanted to have which we grew up having aloe my mother always had aloe plants and it's just good to have especially if you get bad sunburn you know especially for the kids you can put that on and it's good for your skin so but anyways but I wanted to show this book or talk about this book which I'm reading now uh, and I've been going through uh, the chapters here um, but very good book here um, if you don't know a lot about gardening in Florida I uh, highly recommend you picking this book up um, I did purchase it on I don't know if I did get it on Amazon anyways there was a website uh, I think I went to but she had a link to it I thought I saw was it a wild Floridian garden planner yeah, so, anyways, you can look it up, though. I'm sure it was on Amazon or something, but uh, definitely highly recommend you getting this book uh, for gardening in Florida, and it's got a lot of knowledge that things, a lot of the stuff she learned, uh, she wasn't from here, and then when she moved out, down here and got in the garden, she, there's a lot of uh, things that she did, that the do's and don'ts that she went through, and she just, you know, with her knowledge and her experience, uh, she put it in a book, which I thought was very helpful, and it's actually been a really good a good book here and then she also made this garden uh garden planner 
that I'm actually going to be using here. And uh, just to show you an example of what's in here, like I'm in May right now, so. But this is the 2024 uh, planner here. So it shows you, like, you know, you got May here. Show you how it, so then, like, here it shows you, uh, what is it, the temperature. You know, the usually average and low high temperatures during this time of year in May. Uh, how much sunshine and, uh, you know, the uh, UV index uh, rays. Uh, how much rain we usually get. And, uh, which, you know, May can be dry. We get, like, the two, she's got 2.6 inches. And it's usually dry May. Uh, the pests are real bad real high and the blooms are high um, so a lot of good information you know if you don't if you haven't lived there you don't know a lot about about the weather and how things grow um, vegetable ideas uh, okra that was actually one I wanted to I don't have any seeds on uh, but I think my neighbor has some but okra I'm gonna get some okra going and I like okra some people like it some people don't but um, okra sweet potatoes that's one I'm gonna be growing Another good one to grow here in Florida that's really good for as far as pests go and, and the heat, that loves the heat, and you just don't really have to do too much with it, is uh, the Seminole Pumpkin. And that's one that she talks about a lot, that she likes to grow. And uh, we don't eat a lot of pumpkins, so that's kind of one of the reasons why I haven't done it. Uh, we do eat sweet potatoes, but, uh, you know, my wife doesn't really like it, and kids don't eat it that much, you know, except for the holidays might have some pumpkin pie or something but um but it is a good uh, vegetable to grow uh has a good long-term shelf life you know as far as uh, you don't have to uh put it away right away uh the lady here uh was it jack jacqueline she said uh, in her house she has similar pumpkin everywhere uh as far as decoration pieces go and uh they'll last anywhere up between six to nine months uh now they do get a some type of worm uh, seed or egg or something that you have to be careful of and if that happens if you do have that uh, you have to cut it up right away and then um, you know and eat it because it's only gonna last like a couple months or something but um, but the good thing about it is you can chop it up into chunks and then put it in freezer bags and then freeze it and then have you know long-term uh, shelf life you know with the pumpkin you know at least last a year or whatever so, anyways, that's a big one. She talks about Seminole pumpkins, sweet potatoes. Um, but, like, the other ones I did uh, in the gardening uh, kit, you do get a book with this kit, which I really like because I've been using this. Obviously, you can see all the dirt and stuff on it. But this is really came in handy for the seeds I got because this tells you all the information, uh, you know, about... What, you know what you're planting so the bush beans that i planted uh it says plant in plant when all danger of frost is gone in a sunny location the soil should be enriched with organic material as well as cultivated and loosening for best results uh press soil firmly over seeds and then keep moist so anyways i really like this it also tells you how to care for the plant um you know water lightly to keep soil mo moist but do not overwater. Uh, control the weeds with cultivation and mulch. Ensure uh, pole beans have a pole or structure upon which they can climb and you know grow on. So, what I'm going to do is uh, with those beans, uh, basically, you, uh, one guy would say you don't really have to use a pole or anything from the grow on, but you can take a fence and then put a fence around the perimeter and, and where they're at in the box. That's what I'm going to do. And uh, and we go. I'm gonna put a fence on there and then keep them kind of in cage in the fence and then they can grow up the fence. Um, I learned that on YouTube. Uh, harvesting and collecting seeds. So, you know, it tells you everything, all the information you need to know uh, about each plant. And I basically, I basically went through. Duck! Calm down. He's all flared up out there. Uh, basically went through and kind of looked at the different seeds and the, and the plants and figured out what I wanted up with the time of the year, the heat, and, uh, you know, where I got this uh, box at, you know, and the heat that I'm, the afternoon, evening, sun, uh, you know, what I wanted to plant. Um, so anyways, 
that's this book right here has been very helpful and uh one of the little tricks that duck, duck, get over here get over here now it's just the wind blowing it's trees get over here calm down he's over here blowing we got a storm about to come in here about to get some rain so um anyways um uh, a little trick that or tip i learned as far as growing like getting your seeds sprouted up uh you take eggshells you know crack the tops off and uh take the eggs out and but keep the shells and then um pack it with soil and then put the seeds in there and then put soil on top of the seeds and then you can take the eggshells you know and keep them in the carton or you can put them you know in a cup or whatever you want to do i i actually took solo cups and did the whole eggshell thing and then put soil in the uh, cup and then put the eggshells in there and then covered them up and i got them in solo cups and uh man i tell you I, the cucumbers are already sprouting in two weeks uh, i would always i already had you know growth coming up uh the beans came up you know about three weeks and uh and then i already got some more set up where i'm already starting to see uh some growth so i, I really neat uh cool little tip as far as taking it instead of crumbling up the eggshells and then putting them in the the, the soil uh, you just you know plant everything inside the eggshell and then uh, and they sprout up like it it's a quick fast way to get your seeds uh, sprouting so i thought that was a cool little tip and trick and something i've been doing uh to get things going so anyways and then uh yeah i got the ginger and pineapple as far as it shows you uh vegetables you know fruit what fruit trees um it's got the may native blooms on here so all your flowers and all your blooms and stuff and uh and then may tips so this is all the stuff i'm actually going to be going through today and you know filling out and then the plants pruning you know harvesting all that stuff so all this information that i'm going to be uh, accumulating through with these plants is all going to be going in here and this is going to be great to have for feedback uh, for myself, you know, for in case, you know, if something didn't work or I had a problem or issue or whatever it was, I can go back, you know, and have this information for uh, future, uh, you know, planning. And also for somebody else, you know, they could use it, you know, if they're in the area and kind of what, you know, what I ran into, what happened and all that good stuff. So, but basically just for me to keep track of my, uh, of, you know, the, of the process of the planning of the, the crops I did, so. I uh, just have this like part here is called project and notes so I might uh I might go ahead and do draw some pictures here kind of show what it is I got going and then uh but once everything starts growing and if it you know label where everything's at so uh, I got a checklist here notes um and then it goes here to April 29th to May 5th and uh got a place here you put your harvest how many pounds you had out of it wildlife you know what, what kind of pests that's another thing is a, uh, a lot of my neighbors here you know grow their own crops and stuff and that's actually something that's been talked about on youtube here lately and on redacted uh the youtube channel they were talking about this how uh, the government's you know trying to you know get people they're trying to come after you, you know, as far as growing crops. They don't want you to grow crops. They don't They don't want you to have your own gardens and uh, grow your own food. And there's a lot of reasons for that. But they're, they're, a lot of the talk that's been going on is, you know, the uh, the, the government, you know, they, the FDA and all this, they, they don't want uh, us to be healthy. They don't want you to eat healthy food. And they want you to be dependent on the government and not be self-sufficient and self-reliant so anyways that's that's a lot of talk that's been going on right now about gardening and how they're really trying to like come after people in the cities and you know now they're not a lot of growing crops so anyways uh, which my belief is that's only going to get worse and they're going to that's what they're trying to do like, i mean that's their that's their goal and um and i do see that happening so uh, eventually it'll be against the law to probably even have gardens and i i wouldn't be surprised we'll just say that but anyways, like where I'm at, a lot of my neighbor's garden and uh, the lady next door that I'm getting a lot of stuff from, she has all the flowers, the bees, the butterflies and all that stuff. So for me, I don't, I'm not focusing on planting so many plants or flowers and stuff like that for uh, pollen because she has it all and I'm benefiting on what she has over here. So, um, you know, and everything's been going great. 
So, but that's one of the things, you know, you keep track of in this planter, you know, as far as flowers and all that goes. Um, oh, there was something else I was gonna say as far as the garden goes. But yeah, a lot of my neighbors are gardening. So, uh, you know, we all, we're all growing something. And then these days with the groceries going up, everything, the inflation getting worse and everything going up, and, uh, and especially with how bad things are now in today's world and uh, chaos, um, this is just another way to produce food uh, for your family and you and, and to take care of your loved ones and, um, you know, just another option to keep, uh, to keep surviving, you know, when things get bad. So, um, you know, it's definitely something. And if you do have seeds, you know, and got these kits and stuff, uh, you definitely need to get. Uh, There's one thing with Survival Dispatch, you know, one of the gentlemen, I think Mike on there was talking about, you know, if you got these seeds kits, you need to get your, you, if you want to get gardens going, you need to get them going now. Uh, that way you can find out what you did wrong and what you did right when it's cheap and, and when and you got time to, you know, to do it again. But to learn now and get it going or get your crops growing, get your plants growing and start getting all the information you can now and knowledge uh, before things get bad. So, uh, you know, if you do have these uh, seed kits, you know, something you've been wanting to do, definitely get it going now. And that's kind of where I'm at. You know, I'm trying to get these preps going. So when uh, things do get ugly and the shit does hit the fan, uh, you know, we'll have this already, uh, you know, producing and, uh, and you know, bringing in food and stuff. So anyways, but yeah, basically that's May and you got that. And then it goes into, you know, then it goes into June. It even has, has a May harvest. So then I can keep track, you know, of all the food I got and the total and then the wildlife oh that's what i was going to talk about so you know a lot of my neighbors garden but they get a lot of the problems they we have around here is the squirrels now they're all asking me if i got squirrel issues and squirrel problems and i don't and the reason for that is because i have my dog my dog's always out here they don't ever come in our backyard uh i'll see them running up and down the fence line to go to the neighbors but they don't ever come in here because of him and he's always out here he's always on patrol own security this is his domain and and you know he holds it down so the pets i don't have to worry about so much uh, as far as squirrels raccoons stuff like that because he'll be keeping all that away uh but as far as like insects and stuff like that i'm definitely gonna have to keep an eye on but uh, anyways that's just one of the things i wanted to say about as far as the neighbors gardening and then me and then you know worrying about pests and wildlife and uh so but i don't have a lot being in the city just mainly the squirrels raccoons stuff like that and um and uh, just make sure keeping them keeping them away and make sure they don't get to the crops so and uh and then the government is the other threat as far as gardening goes because they're uh, they're trying to do everything they can to be more dependent on them and not be healthy and speaking of that if you haven't seen it yet but black forest supplements um uh, what was it the uh, FDA uh, or Big Pharma? Big Pharma has uh, banned uh, NMN, <coughs> M&M, the supplement that I've been taking back. I just got back on and I love it. Uh, and the one that uh, Jack from Black Scout has been taking now for a long time. And just a, a big game changer as far as health wise. And uh, I mean, just taking it uh, now for like two months actually i've been on a little bit over a month now and i've just seen a huge change uh and everything and it's just uh i can't say enough about it but it is banned now black forest does have a little bit left on the shelf so if you want to pick up some but the good thing is black forest did um come come with a substitute for it m and m h i think it's the new one they came out with and basically they changed the molecules or and uh and uh the supplement itself to make it where it's under the radar you know it's legal uh to sell so i am going to be looking into that they do have the new one out and i think they still have some m and uh still on the on the shelves now but i got a bunch stocked up but anyways uh highly recommend picking that up but just to show you the government and how big pharma and you know they're not they don't want us healthy uh they don't want people healthy they make too much money when people are unhealthy and that's just the sad truth of the world that we live in and um you know they they do everything to, to, to get rid of us or to keep us unhealthy so they can they can uh, profit off of it 
and uh, they don't want people exercising they don't want people eating healthy they don't want people growing their own gardens and growing their own food or, or livestock or any of that you know so it's uh it's one big big evil wicked agenda is my belief uh and you know for me everything goes back to the bible and it goes back to this wicked evil agenda that um uh, that is going on you know against us so anyways that's my thoughts and beliefs on it but uh yeah eminem it has been officially banned uh to sell on the you know on the market there so you have to you know go through big farmer to get it so anyways but you know my main focus right now is growing getting this garden going and getting growing plants and getting things in order and uh, and getting ready and this year is the election year and uh you know november 2024 is gonna be coming up and uh, we're gonna see how that goes but things are only getting worse and getting better and um you know if you if you're not prepared right now you're not ready uh get on it asap because it's uh it's things are only going to get worse it's only going to get worse so anyways guys hope this could help uh the video probably took longer than i wanted it to but i just wanted to go a lot of the details of stuff i've been learning since i just started getting in the garden and watching these youtube channels and people in my area in my state and tips and tricks that they've learned and uh and become more self-sufficient and more uh, self-reliant on myself and uh, and I have to worry about uh, you know where am I gonna get food at so anyways guys take care God bless I hope this can help and uh, maybe I'll see you on the next one all right